Hi everybody, and welcome to another episode on the Tabaki Lassie channel. Um, today I want to do a short tutorial of sorts about how to use a bullet. Um, now this was on request um, from one of my subscribers, Ruben, so big shout out to Ruben. Um, and uh, Ruben says that um, there's very few um, videos um, online about how to use a bullet. Um, um, which I think is kind of strange because I could have sworn I saw a couple, but anyhow, um, I don't use a bullet all that often, um, but I do find them convenient and they're really easy to use. So, um, but before we get going here, Ruben, um, I just want to show you the parts of a bullet. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over here. Now, to fill the bullet, um, at least for this one, this is a plastic one that I got from Mr. Snuff, um, you want to unscrew the bottom and the lid comes off and you can fill it with your favorite snuff. Now when you fill it, you want to make sure there's a little bit of room. You don't want to fill it completely full because um, then it becomes a little harder to fill the chamber inside the, uh, the bullet. All right, now speaking of which, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and take the chamber out. Um, now you'll see here that there's a little dial type thing. Okay, on this bullet, if it faces down, that means it's locked. That way nothing can come out. Okay. Um, but if you put it up like that, that means you're ready to dispense or sniff up your nose. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and take this out very carefully. All right. So <clears throat> this is the little, uh, this is the little chamber. All right. Now you can see that there's a little hole here. That's the actual fill chamber. All right. So when you point the tip down, the the chamber's facing down. So um, that way, when you go to fill the bullet, it uh, fills a little chamber. And then you place it back up, and then it uh, faces up toward the uh, dispensing hole. Okay. Now there's a little O-ring there, a little rubber O-ring, and uh, if it gets worn out and breaks or something, you can easily get these at any hardware store. Um, and what I like to do is when I get a new bullet is I'll uh, put just a little dab of chapstick or uh, petroleum jelly and I'll just kind of rub it on the O-ring so that way it's easier to turn. Okay. All right. So let's put that back in there carefully. Also, there is a little air hole right there. Okay. And uh, when you turn it up, okay, there's another little hole on the chamber itself that lines up with that. That air hole is necessary so that way you can sniff it up your nose so that way there's a little bit of uh, uh, air flow in there. Okay, now to fill the snuff bullet. All you got to do is make sure that the, uh, the pointer is facing down so that way the chamber is facing down. Turn it upside down, shake it a little bit. Okay, make sure that uh, one of your fingers is covering the, the hole there in case there is any residual snuff left in there. So you fill it. Okay, then turn the dial down or up, depending on how you look at it, to face the um, dispensing hole. All right. Now, you should have a little dose of snuff in there, and all you have to do is put it up to your nose and sniff. Now, however... <clears throat> um, Sometimes the little chamber doesn't fill all the way and you end up with just a little bit of snuff. Um, usually I end up with just enough snuff in there to fill one nostril. Okay. But what I found is if I put it up to my nose and sniff, because the snuff is uh, far enough down in there, I have to sniff pretty hard. And um, when I first started using this particular bullet, I had it full of Freeburg & Trier's Hydrite Toast. And uh, I sniffed pretty hard, and it went all the way up into my sinuses, and I felt like I blew my head off. <laughs> um, so what I tend to do, instead of just sniffing directly, okay, because you have to sniff pretty hard to get it up that, that distance there, is I'll shake it down so that way, or tap it down, so that way the snuff is actually right about there, right at the opening. And then I put it to my nose. And sniff gently. <sighs> oh, there's a little bit in there. Tap it some more. There we go. All right. I have this full of um, uh, Quit With Snuff's Irish Coffee. Beautiful snuff. I love it. Uh, very creamy, very coffee-like. Very nice. Okay. Um, 
Now, some uh, some tips to to maintain your your bullet. Um, what I what I like to do is I only want to make sure that I fill fill my bullet with just enough for about maybe one or two days of snuff. Um, if I fill it like about three quarters of the way, that's like almost a week for me, and uh, the snuff tends to dry out uh, for me. So um, I like to keep if I'm using moist snuff, I like to keep my uh, snuff moist. So I only put in one or two days worth in there. Um, um, always check to make sure that your pointer's pointing down. Okay, I have forgot one time, and um, um, and then you end up with residual snuff in your pocket if you don't get all the snuff out of there. So um, every now and again, you want to lubricate your little O-ring. That sounded kind of dirty, didn't it? <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> you want to lubricate your O-ring, but don't do it, you know, too much. You want a little bit of resistance um, in there. So that way it doesn't like turn on itself when you put it in your pocket. Um, I have another uh, bullet um, that's not like this. It's a cheaper, it's a cheaper one uh, that actually broke on me. That uh, turned really easy, and the uh, the chamber actually fell out of it in my pocket. Um, and that kind of sucks because then you end up with snuff all over your pocket. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, every now and again. Um, you want to take the chamber out, tap it out, uh, because sometimes snuff gets stuck um, on the between the side and um, the bullet itself. Um, now, I've heard a lot of comments about uh, um, the hole here being useless and snuff falling out of it. Well, I found that if you just kind of turn the chamber a little bit and then tap the snuff out of it before you... Uh, tap the snuff out, residual snuff out of the chamber before you put it back in your pocket, then nothing will fall out of that hole. But the air hole is there, um, so that way, um, when you sniff, it'll allow the snuff to come up. Otherwise, if the air hole isn't there, um, you'd have to snuff a lot harder, um, because there is no air circulation. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's any, any science, uh, if there are any science buffs out there that can explain why we need that, um, little air hole in there. Um, I don't know if it's to prevent a vacuum or to um, induce a vacuum. I don't know. So let me know because I'm science illiterate. <laughs> I love science, but I don't know why that little air hole is there. So anyhow, other than the fact that you need it to, to put the snuff in your nose. But anyway, Ruben, that's the uh, short and skinny on how to use a bullet. Um, I'm not quite um, sure how to use the posh bullets um, uh, because it doesn't look like it's got the little turn thingy or whatever I'm guessing that with the posh bullets you have to turn it this way so I don't know uh, I know that you had asked about the the, the posh bullets but I, I have no experience with the metal posh bullets so anyhow as far as the uh, usual uh, plastic bullets pretty easy to use um, I usually use it when I'm driving um, it's pretty easy to turn it upside down tap it turn it sniff it um, <clears throat> but when um, when I'm not in the car and I'm not driving, um, I usually just tap it on the back of my hand. Okay, so you can use it as a nice little um, uh, container to hold your snuff and still tap it. Okay, you don't have to necessarily sniff it this way. So anyhow, pretty easy, huh? All right, pretty handy too. Fits right in your pocket. Um, granted, it's not quite as elegant as a nice snuff box, but it does its job. So anyway, that's my short tutorial on how to use a snuff bullet. Thanks for asking about uh, a tutorial, Ruben. We'll talk to everybody next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.